I'm Noah Pope, and these are questions on the red couch. Assemble a dream team band. Vocals, guitar, bass, and drums. Honestly, I already have the dream team band. <laughs> They're like my best friends. Um, it's Ian Shaw on bass and also on drums. We switch around. And then uh, Chris Peranich on guitar and bass too. But they're my best friends. I wouldn't want to play with anyone else, really. <laughs> um, if I had to, if I had to pick, hmm. Okay, yeah. Drums, I'd go with, I don't even remember his name right now. The drummer from Fleetwood Mac. I know he's one of the Fleetwoods. <laughs> and then um, bass, probably Pino Palladino. And then uh, guitar, mm. maybe Pete Townsend from The Who. <laughs> be an interesting combo, or not combo, inter interesting team of, of members. What's the best environment to write songs? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I feel like the best environment is, it's like a headspace. It's like when you're not thinking about it and you're just, usually for me, it's, it's after I've worked for like hours and hours on a song and I am not that happy with it. It just kind of, you know, turned out kind of mid and then usually after committing that much time to something that I don't enjoy I'll like get an idea when I'm done <laughs> or something it's always like oh like I th I thought I was working on the thing that I need to be working on but then like I'm realizing now that the idea came after I did all the hard the hard stuff and it you know came out easy so it's really just like when you're least expecting it um but i almost always write from like my house my room or like outside sometimes on walks and stuff uh or if i'm like on the move i like being like if i if i have something else that i'm occupying my time with a destination somewhere to be but my like i could still think thinking uh sometimes i'll get cool ideas that way because i'm not like focused on getting a cool idea i'm like focused on walking somewhere and so the cool idea uh you know you can't it can't be a cool idea unless it's uh <laughs> it can only be a cool idea if it you can't name something cool i guess it has to present itself <laughs> I don't know, maybe that was too much. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what's your favorite part about New York? Uh, honestly, bagels. <laughs> Pretty simple, straightforward answer. I like uh, egg everything and um, sun-dried tomato, schmear or spread, whatever. I don't know why they don't call them everything bagels though. Always wondered that. What's an instrument or piece of equipment you wish to own? Um, a Neumann U67. <laughs> One day, we'll get there. <laughs> What's more important, good music or good marketing? Good music. At the end of the day, I think you'll be more happy making something that you really love than doing a great job marketing something that you don't really love. Unless you love marketing, <laughs> then I would say good marketing, you know? <laughs> but if you're looking at, if you're approaching this question from uh, a music standpoint, I would say good music. But that's just me. <laughs> what role does photography play in your life? Pretty big role, actually. My wife is a full-time photographer, so I'm always looking at pictures. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love photography. I did a lot of film photography in high school. Um, and being here in the city, I'm very uh, inspired to get back into it. 
um yeah i love i love photography um yeah can't say enough good things about it <laughs> how has married life affected your artistry um very positively i feel like i was always afraid to like show stuff that i've been working on or like you know share really anything with anyone before being with someone that like really loves me and um yeah i mean christina just like she's my rock she's always just like keeping me positive i get really down beat myself up over like not writing the world's best song or whatever and uh she keeps me going for sure so um uh, it's definitely made a lot of things i was afraid to sing or say or do uh a lot easier because i have someone who's you know got my back all the time so kind of it's like married life is my artistry <laughs> who's your biggest music inspiration um right now i'm obsessed with john martin and mcgee but biggest of all time uh probably big thief honestly love big thief so much what's the hardest decision you've ever had to make wow that is a good question <laughs> um the hardest decision i ever had to make um Man, I've made a lot of hard decisions. One of one of the hardest decisions was just putting out music, I feel like. In like a if we're if we're speaking in music terms or it's just in the music world, the hardest decision was was uh the hardest decision was putting out my first song because I was so afraid of what people would think and uh how it would be received and I was like it has to be amazing it has to be like it has to be you know the last 22 years of my <laughs> uh work as a musician in two minutes and 30 seconds so uh that was a really hard decision it was just like putting it out which maybe sounds kind of like an easy decision but it wasn't for me <laughs> Um, another hard decision is going to the gym <laughs> always hard every time I go <laughs> what's one piece of advice you'd give your younger self um, just like make stuff and don't be afraid to share it like don't think about things so much and and stress about what you're doing and just do it you know i think the biggest the biggest hurdle for me which i guess has kind of been a topic throughout all these questions but just like overcoming the uh fear of not being good enough and the truth is like everyone's got something to say if it's if you know they have if they want to say something then it's valuable and it should be heard by people. Um, I wish that when I was younger, I like believed that more. It took me so long to realize like just expressing yourself and whatever. It doesn't have to be like a song. It can be anything, even a, something as simple as like commenting on an Instagram post or like saying hi to somebody or like sending someone a text because you thought of them or like all these things that for so long I was so like image conscious about like I have to be the, the cool guy but the truth is the cool guy's right here and <laughs> just need to be him <laughs> and not think about it too much uh so that's what I'd say
just express yourself more. <laughs> and that's it.